for another sectional matchup on the West Washington Senator live stream. I'm Gabriel Porter. And I'm Titan Williams, and today we will have the West Washington Lady Senators and the Shaw Memorial Lady Hilltoppers, and this game is underway as Shaw Memorial controls a tip and um, gets the ball and sets up their offense as we have 11 Noble with it, who gives it off to Latham. Latham kicks it into the corner. Turner puts up a three-pointer. It is good. And a good start there for the Hilltoppers getting a quick three points as now Griffiths brings the ball to the floor for the Lady Senators. The Lady Senators are starting Griffiths, Johnson, Mackenzie Brown, Madison Brown, and Woods at center. So now Griffiths with the ball. She's guarded by Noble. Goes off onto the wing for Brown. Brown throws it inside. Now Mackenzie Brown with it. Kicks it out for Johnson. Johnson drives inside, gets it in to the paint, kicks it out for Brown. Now it's swung back out top. Johnson puts up a three-pointer. This one is good. And the Lady Senators match it with another, a three of their own. So now Lady Senators putting on some pressure here as Shaw Memorial breaks it pretty easily as 14 Hill gets it and get, kicks it back out. Noble kicks it across for Latherham. Back to Noble. Noble back to Latherham. Latherham with a cross-court pass as Hill gets it. Hill tries to go inside. He's going to kick it back out. And it's going to be taken away by Alanza Johnson. As Johnson puts it ahead quickly, throws it up for Griffiths. And Griffiths is going to have to bring it back out. So Griffiths kicks it across for Johnson. Head coach Matt Myers calling out a play for the Lady Senators as Brown has it on the right wing. Gives it off to Johnson. Swung back up top for Brown as Griffiths now with the ball on the left wing. Throws it up for Woods. Woods gets it, turns, puts up the shot, and gets it to go. Now Lady Senators with a 1-2-2 press coming as uh, Latherham with it. Tries to go up the sideline. Ball is tipped on the ground and it is almost saved by 20 McKenzie Brown and it will be out of bounds and stay with the Hilltoppers. And that's great effort there by McKenzie trying to get the steal but just slides a bit too far out of bounds. So now Latherham to take the ball out of bounds. Latherham just straight up gives it in for Noble. Noble will bring the ball to the middle of the floor. Lady Senators look to be in a 3-2 zone as Griffiths is all up on the ball. And that is going to go straight through the hands of Hill and go out of bounds. And it will be a turnover for the Lady Hill Toppers. So now it will be the Lady Senators ball as Griffiths will bring the ball up the floor two minutes into the game. So Griffiths hands it off for Johnson, gives it off to Brown. Now Madison Brown with it on the right wing. Now Woods with the ball up top, gives it off for Griffiths. Now into the corner. Brown thought about the three, now gives it off Johnson, who had already hit one three, puts up another, and this one's also good. And Alandra Johnson is making some big buckets here tonight. She looks ready for this sectional matchup. So now uh, Hill with it. Hill gives it off for Noble. Noble goes right side, gives it back for Hill. Hill looking inside, now kicks it back out for Noble. Noble kicks it across the court for Turner. Turner with the ball in the corner, guarded by Brown. Kicks it up top, Noble with it, tries to get inside. It's gonna be taken away by 20, Brown. Now kicks it ahead for Johnson. Johnson with the ball in the block, puts up the shot. It's no good, blocked away. 
That ball is gonna be out of bounds and it will be the Hilltoppers ball. So Lady Senators off to a strong eight to three lead to start off this game. We're about three minutes underway. It's been an exciting game thus far, Titan. I mean, the crowd is really into it and you're seeing both teams making some big plays here. Right there, Hill was able to get it and now in, in the paint is Noble who gets the jump shot to go. So now Griffiths gives it off to Johnson, now Brown with it. Now Madison Brown with it on the right wing. Woods gets the ball up top, gives it off to Griffiths on the left side. Brown puts up a three-pointer in the corner. It is no good, rattles around the rim, rebounded by Hill who will now try to take it the other way. And she gives it off to Noble. And now Noble will slowly bring the ball to the floor. As now Noble is gonna give it off for Latham. Latham back to Noble. Noble is gonna put up a three-pointer and it is good. And just like that, we are tied up. These teams are coming out here firing tight and it is exciting to see. Both teams making big three-pointers. So now Woods with the ball up top, gives it off to Griffiths on the left wing. Ball in the corner, Brown kicks it back up top for Johnson. Johnson gives it off to Griffiths. Griffiths now calls up a play, gives it off for Brown on the left wing. Back up top for Johnson. Johnson kicks it across, McKenzie Brown with it. Now gives it off to Griffiths, he throws it inside for Woods. The ball will be knocked out of bounds by number 32, Leatherman. So now Brown to take the ball out of bounds. Brown gets it right in for Woods. Woods gives it up top for Griffiths. Griffiths looking inside, gives it back out. Brown thought about the three, he's gonna dribble it inside and kick it back out. Johnson now puts up another three-pointer. This one is no good, her first miss. First three-point miss, and it'll be out of bounds. We'll stay with the Lady Senators. So now Griffiths will take the ball out of bounds underneath the basket. Griffiths throws it in for Brown. It's gonna be kicked and we'll stay with the Lady Senators underneath the basket. So now this time 22 Madison Brown will take the ball out of bounds. Brown tosses it up top for Johnson. Johnson comes down with it, gives it back into the corner. Now they throw it in the post. It's gonna be taken away by Leatherman. And now uh, we have Latherman taking it the other way as Griffiths now comes up with the steal. As Griffiths will now push the ball up the floor. Jump socks put up, puts up the shot and gets it to go. Griffiths with her first two of the game. As now Noble is going to try to run it down the floor. Almost taken away there by the Lady Senators. Now they get it, the ball the way down. They try to go off to Leatherman who gets it. They kick it out for Turner. Now the ball swung back across. Noble's got it. Now Latherman gives it in the corner. Now cross court pass for Hill who puts up the jump shot. It's no good. Ball will be knocked out of bounds and will go to the Lady Senators. Now a substitution for Shaw Memorial will be number 12, Perez. So Lady Senators with a two point lead here with three minutes to go in the first quarter. Griffiths with the ball, looking left side. Now throws in the high post for Brown. Good bounce pass that's gonna be knocked out of bounds and will go over to the Lady Hilltoppers. Yeah, that was a good pass there by McKenzie, just a bit too tough to handle. So now 25 Newman checks into the game for Shaw Memorial. As Noble's got the ball in the backcourt. Lady Senators looking to apply a little bit of pressure here. So now Noble gives the ball into the corner. There's a three point try by Turner. It's no good. Rebounded by Griffiths. And now Griffiths will take it the other way herself. She brings it up the left side of the floor, hands it off for Johnson. Johnson gives it off to Brown. Now Madison Brown with it. She puts up a three pointer. It's no good. And almost an offensive rebound there for Griffiths, but now Noble will take it the other way for Shaw Memorial. Goes around one defender, gets the ball all the way inside, and a travel will be called, and we'll go back to the Lady Senators. You can just hear this student section from West Washington really into the game. You love to see that from your school. And now a 30 second timeout will be called by West Washington. So Lady Senators up 10 to eight here early on Shaw Memorial as uh, Melandra Johnson's got six points, Ava Woods with two points, Shelby Griffiths with two points. For Shaw Memorial, Allison Noble with five points and Ava Turner with three points. 
where the Senators came out firing with Alandra Johnson knocking down two threes just to start off the game, which put them out in front early. Yeah, and both teams are getting aggressive out here. They're taking the open shots, and heck, both of them are making them, so you can't really disagree with their shot selection. It's been a good offensive game thus far. Both teams will look to step it up on the defensive end a bit. So now it will be the Lady Senators ball coming out of the timeout. So now Griffiths will bring the ball up the floor. Two and a half minutes to go in the quarter. Griffiths gives it off for Johnson. Johnson now gives it off for Brown. Now Mackenzie Brown with it on the right side. Griffiths with it, throws it up for Woods. It's going to be knocked out of bounds and will be a turnover as Sean Memorial will take uh, control of the ball. So now Lady Center's putting on some pressure here as Noble gives it off. Now Noble's going to get the ball back and bring it up herself. Now she gets a double team. It's going to be almost taken away. And now Noble gets it back. And there's a jump shot by Leatherman. It's no good. Rebounded by Woods for the Lady Sanders. Woods gives it off for Griffiths. And now Griffiths pushes it ahead. Now gives it off to Brown. Cross court pass to Johnson. Johnson now slows it down. Gives it back to Griffiths up top. Griffiths goes off to Brown, the right wing. Now Brown gets it back out for Johnson. Cross court pass. Now Griffiths with the ball on the wing. Griffiths dribbles left side. Now kicks it back out. Madison Brown with it off to Johnson. Now McKenzie Brown with it. Brown gives it off to Griffiths up top as Coach Myers for the Lady Senators calls up the play. Now Griffiths dribbles left side. Now going to go back right. Brown with it. Dribbles right side. Now kicks it back out for Griffiths. Johnson now with the ball as he's guarded by Perez. Gets the ball in the corner to Brown. Brown now gives it back up to Johnson. Now Johnson hands it off there as for Griffiths. So now Madison Brown with the ball in the corner. Gives it off to McKenzie Brown. Dribbles inside. Kicks it out. Johnson puts up another three-pointer and it's good. And that's a great assist there by McKenzie Brown, knowing that her teammate Alandra Johnson has the hot hand and feeding it. Johnson has hit um, three threes already. She comes up with a steal right there, as was able to just run straight behind Shaw Memorial and just knock the ball out. Now Johnson's got it, gives it off to Brown up top. Brown gives it off for Griffiths. 40 seconds to go in the quarter. Griffiths gives it off for Woods, kicks it out. Brown puts up a three-pointer. It is no good. Battle for the rebound as Sean Memorial comes up with it. Turner's going to push it the other way. Turner now stops, picks up her dribble, gives it off to Leatherman, and a foul is going to be called on 22. Madison Brown, her first. That's the first foul of this game, actually, with just 24 seconds to go in the first quarter. So now we have Perez taking the ball out of bounds. Perez. Throws it up top to Leatherman. Leatherman goes off for Noble. 20 seconds to go in the quarter. Noble goes to the corner. Hill with it. Throws it inside to Leatherman. Puts up the post shot. It's no good. Rebounded by Griffiths. We now take it the other way. 10 seconds now to go in the quarter. Lady Sanders might go for the last shot here. Griffiths goes right. Now five seconds. Still hasn't gone anywhere. Johnson with it with just two seconds. And now just is going to have to throw one up. And it is good. Oh, she made it. What a <laughs> shot right there by Landra Johnson, who has the hot hand. Four threes. What a shot. Some nights it is just your night, and Alandra Johnson is having herself one right here. But we got to hit you with a quick commercial break. Please join us for the second quarter. After two years of study and research, the Washington County Community Foundation launched its first proactive initiative, Youth First, in 2007. Their goal was to create a positive environment within the county where youth are valued, their needs come first, and investments are made in their well-being. In 2011, Youth First merged with the YMCA to best serve youth through their common commitments to youth development, healthy living, and social responsibility. This merger allowed for further utilization of Youth First missions and the possibility to grow development assets in our community more initially. And we're back. 
after an exciting first quarter, which ended with an amazing Alandra Johnson three-pointer, Lady Senators winning here 16-8 to as we start the second quarter. And Titan, what would you think of that first quarter? I know it was an exciting one. Well, the Lady Hilltoppers are definitely going to have to find a way to stop Johnson from getting all these three-pointers off. She's four for five already from the three-point line, making up her 12 points. Well, after you see that one to end the first quarter, here, this might be another one, and this one's no good, making it four for six, but still very good percentage from the three-point line as now uh, Turner with the ball and gives it out for Noble. So now Noble goes back for Turner, now kicks it back out, ball swung across for Perez. Perez throws a baseline as Turner is just going to kick it back out. Noble with it. Noble guarded by Griffiths, now kicked it all the way into the corner. Turner puts up the shot, it's no good, rebounded by Griffiths. Now Griffiths will get the ball back and bring it up the floor. Lady Sanders with an eight-point lead here. Brown with the ball on the wing. Madison Brown gives it in for McKenzie Brown. Now tries to throw it out, it's going to be a turnover. As Perez now takes it the other way, gives it off to Noble, who puts up the layup. It's no good, may have been blocked as Johnson gets the rebound. And now a foul will be called on Perez, trying to get the ball away from Johnson. And that was great chase down contest by McKenzie Brown there. Good effort and kept that transition bucket from happening. So now it will be the Lady Senators ball after that foul. Griffiths will bring the ball up the floor a minute into this second quarter. It looks like the Lady Senators will go with a 1-4 high look as they give it off for Madison Brown who tries to go inside and a illegal screen will be called. The fans disagree with that call, Tad, but Sean Memorial will get the ball here. So now Noble will bring the ball up the floor. Noble gives it off to Perez. Perez guarded by Griffiths. Now back for Noble. Noble kicks the ball into the corner. Hill thought about throwing it inside. Now does throw it inside. It's going to be taken away. As now Johnson with the ball. Johnson gives it off to Brown. Madison Brown with it. Gives it off to McKenzie Brown in the corner. Brown looking inside. He's going to dribble left side. Now kicks it out for Griffiths. Griffiths now dribbling around. Coach Myers calls up another play for him. So now Griffiths with the ball up top guard by Noble. Sean Memorial has been man-to-man -man this whole game. As now Brown dribbles the left side, tries to throw a bounce pass, balls on the ground, and it will be a jump ball will go to the Lady Hilltoppers. As 32 Ava Woods checks into the game. As a 30 second timeout is called. So Lady Senators still with a 16 to eight lead. We are scoreless in the second quarter, two minutes through. Yeah, and it's kind of interesting to see both teams shoring up their defense in this quarter after an electric first quarter. Sean Morrill has been very quiet though. They haven't scored in a while. It was 10 to eight in the first quarter and now it is 16 to eight in the second quarter. Yeah, they'll definitely be looking to get a few more open looks at the bucket. They had some good threes in the first quarter, but haven't really been able to find anything so far. It's now Noble will bring the ball to the floor. Lady Senators still look to be in a little bit of the zone as Griffiths almost gets a steal. And now Turner with it gives it back out for Noble. Noble gives it off to Hill. Hill drives baseline and a foul will be called. As on 44, Ainsley Nance, that's her second foul. And now 20, Mackenzie Brown will come into the game. So now Perez will take the ball out. Perez throws it in. Jump shot is up and it is good as Turner gets her fifth point of the game. It's now John Moore with a press on. It looks to be a 2-2-1 press as Johnson throws it on the sideline for Woods. Woods gives it off to Johnson. Now Griffiths with it. Gives it off to Brown in the corner. Now gets it back. Griffiths now brings the ball in the middle of the floor. Gives it off to Johnson. 
Now it looks like Shaw Memorial has switched it up with a 2-3 uh, zone. Now Lady Sanders shift into their zone offense as Brown's got the ball, throws it in the high post, now kicks it in the corner. Woods tries to save it, will be out of bounds and go back to Shaw Memorial. So again, Noble will bring the ball up the floor. Noble brings it up on the left side. He's gonna dribble right, give it off for Hill. Hill dribbles inside, kicks it back out for Perez. Perez back off for Hill. Hill throws it inside, it's gonna be out of bounds and will stay with the Lady Hill toppers. That one's tipped again by Landra Johnson. She has been on defense and on offense a star for the Lady Senators here tonight. Noble receives the inbound pass. She's going to dribble to the right side and now give it off for Perez. Perez gives it off for Hill. Hill throws it inside, so it's going to be taken away by the Lady Senators as Brown will bring it up the floor, kicks it up for Griffiths. Now Griffiths with the ball up on the logo. Now gives it off for Brown. Madison Brown gives it off to McKenzie Brown in the corner. Now ball swung back out. Griffiths now with the ball on the left wing. Griffiths almost has it taken away. Ball is knocked into the backcourt. Griffiths able to recover and now will cross half court again. Gives it off to Brown on the left side of the floor. Now looking inside for Woods. Now throws it. It's going to be thrown away out of bounds, but it will be caught out of bounds by Sean Memorial and it will go to the Lady Senators. So now Brown will take the ball out underneath the basket. Brown throws it up for Woods. Woods comes down, to, down with it, puts up the shot. It's no good. A foul is called on the floor. Hill is called for the foul there, just her first. So now Brown will take the ball out. Again, this time throws it into Woods up at the three-point line. Griffiths now with it, gives it off to Johnson. Johnson cross-court pass. Now Griffiths with the ball back up top. Griffiths hands it off for Madison Brown. Now Johnson with it on the wing, gives it back to Brown up top. Brown now takes a dribble, looking, looking around, tries to throw it inside, it's just gonna be too late. It's gonna be taken away as now Sean Memorial takes it the other way. And now Noble with the ball. Noble gives it off to Perez, now swung into the corner for Turner. That's gonna be taken away by the Lady Sanders. And now Griffiths with the ball. Johnson now with the ball, guarded by Perez. Perez gives it, or Johnson gives it back to Griffiths up near the logo. Griffiths now dribbles right side, gets a screen from Brown. Now he's gonna dribble left side, looking for somewhere to go. Gets the ball in the paint, kicks it out. Ball's on the ground, and it will be another turnover as now Sean Memorial will take it the other way. Ball's on knocked out of bounds. It will stay with the Hilltoppers. And now we'll have a full timeout called by the Lady Senators. And uh, you are listening to West Washington Center live stream, and we will go to a quick commercial break. Is your ride not as reliable as it used to be? Eddie Gilstraps is the place to go. With 80 years in the auto industry, we know how to get things done. At Eddie Gilstrap Motors, we have an unbeaten level of commitment to buyers, unmatched customer service, a wide array of new and used inventory, and various financing options are just a few of the ways in which we serve our customers. Give us a call at 877-227-227. 9421. That's 877-227-9421. Or just visit our website. And we're back. Both teams still going over some last minute adjustments with their coaches. Play Senators leading here 16 to 10 over the Shaw Memorial Hilltoppers. Coach Myers looked to be a little upset right there after his team has had a bunch of turnovers right here in a row as they just haven't been able to take care of the ball. Cool, and that's kind of been what's halted their offense in this quarter as they were getting off to a blazing start in the first quarter, but those turnovers can really hurt an offense's momentum. 
Yeah, the Lady Senators have not scored in four minutes, or five minutes actually, of game time, as now they have a trap in the corner. And a five second call will be called as 14 Hill couldn't get the ball out, and now 20 Latherham will come back in. As Memorial's coach Terry King gets a little frustrated, ends up throwing his water bottle, so. Now Madison Brown with it as Woods will now get the ball up top. Woods gives it off to Brown and puts up a three-pointer. It's no good. Rebounded by Leatherman. And now will be taken the other way by Hill. Hill gets trapped and a jump ball will be called. And it will go to the Lady Senators. Great effort there by Madison Brown going right in for that steal and forcing the jump ball. So now Griffiths with the ball. Two and a half minutes to go in the half. Griffiths will dribble it left side. Now gives it off to Woods up top. Fakes the handoff to Johnson. Now hands it off to Brown. And now McKenzie Brown puts up a three-pointer off the handoff and it is good. And now it's time for Senator fans as that is McKenzie Brown with the three-pointer. That was also her first points of the game, giving uh, the Lady Senators 19 total points. Now Lady Senators go for the trap as they um, throw down low to Hill. Almost lost it. Now ball in the corner, Hill with it, gives it back to Labram, throws it inside. Ball is tipped out of bounds, and this will be Lady Senator's ball. We'll have Madison Brown on the inbound here to Shelby Griffiths. Lady Senator's with a nine-point lead under two minutes to go in the half. Griffiths gives it off for Johnson. Johnson guarded heavily by Latham. And now a travel will be called on Johnson. Another turnover for the Lady Senators. Now Latham will take the ball, gives it off for Noble. Lady Senators putting on a little bit of pressure here. That will be a double dribble, just a bad play right there by Shaw Memorial. Now Griffiths with the ball crossing half court. Gives it off to Johnson on the right wing. Johnson looking inside. Gives it back to Brown up top. Brown now throws it inside. McKenzie Brown with it. Dribbles kicks it out. Now Johnson with the ball up top. Johnson brings it to the right side. Now tries to go back left. Guarded heavily. And a foul is going to be called on Lavern. Now, Madison Brown to take the ball out of bounds. Brown throws it in the backcourt for Griffiths. Griffiths now crossing half court, gives it off to the right side. Madison Brown with it, looking inside, gives it off to McKenzie Brown at about the free throw line, kicks it back out, ball is tipped, but recovered by the Lady Senators. Johnson now with the ball up near half court, gives it off for Griffiths. Griffiths looking left side. I was just going to kick it back out, under a minute to go in the half. Johnson now dribbling left side. Now a double dribble will be called on three, Elandra Johnson. And the late Senators got to get more careful here with the ball. This lead could be opened up a bit more if they just take care of the ball and get back to the shots that they've been making all night. I mean, both teams have had a lot of turnovers here, and the scoring in the second quarter, Lady Senators three, Shaw Memorial two as now uh, Sean Memorial with the ball in the half court as Noble's got it up top. Now Latherham throws it on the baseline for Hill. Hill now is going to kick it back out for Latherham. Latherham gives it into the corner for Turner. Now kicks it back out. Latherham throws it in the corner again, and this time um, she's going to get it right back. Now ball is on the ground as it will be a jump ball called. We'll stay with the Lady Hilltoppers. Just 17.2 seconds on the clock right here in this first half. Latherham will take it out. Latherham tries to throw it up and will be knocked out of bounds by 20 McKenzie Brown.
So now Auburn will take it out again. Auburn throws it up top. It's going to be tipped away and it will be out of bounds off of the Lady Senators. Not a very good pass there, and that was kind of forced by Mackenzie Brown being up there in the face of the inbounder. I mean, kind of makes it tough for her to find anyone open. So now the ball is finally thrown in. It's now Leatherman with the ball in the post. Kicks it out. Leatherman puts up a three-pointer. It is good. Actually, it would just be a two-pointer. Her first two of the game. Now with three seconds on the clock. Johnson with it. Can't hit another buzzer beater. So gives it off, and that shot will be no good. It wouldn't have even been off in time as the Lady Senators lead the Lady Hilltoppers 19-12 to at the end of the first half. We'll now go to a few commercial breaks and come back for some halftime stats and the second half. Expertise, resources, commitment. At Sullivan Financial, we offer a team approach to financial planning, offering you a broader scope of expertise than you will likely find in any one person. Clients are our main priority, which is why we work to understand your unique circumstances and ultimately create a distinctive plan that provides a roadmap for your financial journey. Located in Mitchell, Indiana, they can be reached at 812-849-2670. That's 812-849-2670. Lynx Clothing and Shoes carries a wide variety of items from name brand clothing and shoes to sports apparel and sporting goods. We offer custom screen printing and embroidery, free gift wrapping alternations and layaway. Our hours are Monday through Thursday, 9 to 5.30, Friday 9 to 6, and Saturday 9 to 5. We are conveniently located on the north side of the Salem Square and are a family owned and operated business. Stop by and see us today, 812-883-4154. Gates, Carnegie, Rockefeller, I'm not. Generous, caring, rich in spirit, I am. You don't have to be a person of great wealth to make an impact. When caring individuals give through a flexible, creative, capable organization known as a community foundation, our philanthropic potential is unlimited. As your local community foundation, we provide you the opportunity to permanently support the causes you care about both near and far. We do this by protecting and administering permanent funds through thoughtful grant making to improve the quality of life in the community we serve. Simply put, Donors who give through a community foundation build sustainable, permanent funds called endowments through contributions, big and small, to support organizations they care about most, forever. Through the generosity of our many donors and the responsible, informed investment of permanent funds, we will increase our grant-making ability for the benefit of our community for generations to come. All we need is you. What causes are you passionate about? What organization matters most to you? We can help you ensure your charitable interests are supported forever. Donors can give to an existing endowment or establish their own. Some choose to give now, while others make their gift later through their will or estate plan. To learn what your options are, talk to your community foundation. We're here to help you reach your philanthropic goals. If you love our community, let's leave our little corner of the world a bit better than we found it. Not just today, but for future generations too. The Washington County Community Foundation has been making our home a terrific place to live, work, and play since 1993 through the generosity of donors just like you. Why? Well, just like you, we also really love our community. It's time for the Commissioner's Corner, an exclusive weekly conversation about Indiana high school sports with the Commissioner of the IHSAA, Paul Neidig. Now for an up-to-the-minute report about what's happening in the constantly changing world of high school sports, here's Coach Bob Lovell with Commissioner Paul Neidig. Welcome back, everyone, to our weekly conversation with the Commissioner of the IHSAA, Paul Neidig. 
Commissioner, we have a major snowstorm that's clearly going to affect the tournament. So uh, what without knowing exactly how it's going to turn out on uh, on Wednesday, Thursday, schools are frantically making plans to uh, redo some games. So what can you tell us uh, about the, the effect of the tournament on, with this storm? Certainly. You know, coaching, we're just doing what coaches do. They, they game plan every day. Schools game plan, and that's right. what's going on here. And, you know, I, I say tongue-in-cheek that this is as simple as we're going to – it's going to snow. We know that. Uh, but when it quits snowing, we're going to clean it up and play as soon as we can. But, you know, and, and that's a that's a simple way to look at it. But we, we've looked at a lot of uh, scenarios. And, you know, with the girls' tournament, we have uh, – 30 plus games going off tonight and eight team sectionals, so they could get delayed. And, you know, Thursday night right now, based on the forecast, doesn't look the best. So, what we will do is we'll push games back regionally based upon uh, on how much snow they got. Obviously, it's going to be different in the north than the south. And we'll have some schools that get to play uh, their semifinal rounds on Saturday. Some might get cleaned up in time to play on Friday night. Uh, but at the end of the day, we're going to, you know, just make the appropriate adjustments to keep schools playing. And I, I assume that uh, if the weather forecast holds true, that we'll be crowning some champions in our girls' sectional bracketry for sure um, on Monday this week. And we've done those things in the past, and we'll be fine. Right. We'll, we'll do it again. So everybody has to understand Sunday is a day that's uh, not available, never has been. And so you'll, you know, you could push it into money. And is it mutual decision of all the schools or who, who makes the final call? You know, it, it really is the sectional host starts that. They're on the ground in that region. Uh, they know what their facilities are like. They know what the cleanup window is going to be like to get their parking lots open and their sidewalk shoveled off. So the first decision is made at the school level. Recommendation comes to our assistant commissioners who are in charge of that sport. Most of the times we concur with uh, what's being said, and, and then we're going to make a decision based upon on safety and, and when we can just like school. We don't go to school. We mm -hmm. can safely get there, and this tournament will be the same way. Well, we got a night in last night, and we had some really good games, did we not? We did, Coach. I was uh, out, and Seth was out, and, you know, girls basketball is um, very good in this state. I know we've got a couple kids that uh, started their tournament quest. we got some going to Tennessee and a lot of Division I uh, student-athletes that are, are playing for their high school, and, um, you know, it was a great game of basketball great games last night and you know i i actually went out and watched uh, muncie central versus anderson a great competitive game and uh, i know the staff saw a lot of other games that were really good across the state you know the uh, boys games obviously have scheduled there'll be some games who knows what will happen uh with those games and more than likely have to be made up with the amount of snow you're going to get but you know the first things first we're going to try to do as much as we can with the uh, girls tournament and um you know it's just it's it's indiana and it's it's tournament time and you have to expect snow you've been here as long as i have you have to expect snow on sectional week yeah it happens i don't know if you remember back a couple years ago bob uh uh, actually, my first year in the office, we had, what, 10 or 12 inches of snow the right. state championship right. weekend of the boys' tournament, you know? And right. we just adjust. We figure out a way. And and be honest with you, I, hate to, I don't want to celebrate it this way, but COVID has taught us to adjust. And those lessons uh, certainly can be applied here. And you just have to remain flexible, look at what's before you, make the best decision possible, and, and move forward when you can. He's the commissioner of the IHSAA, Paul Nighting, all things IHSA related our topic as we do every week. Commissioner, good luck to you and the staff. Stay safe. Thanks very much. Thanks, Coach, and uh, look forward to listening to your show this weekend. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thanks for listening to The Commissioner's Corner with IHSAA Commissioner Paul Neidig and Coach Bob Lovell. And thank you for your continued support of the high schools in your community. Becoming a licensed sports official is a great way to make a positive difference in the community and support the over 160,000 Indiana student-athletes that participate across 22 IHSAA sports. Sports officiating allows you to stay connected to the game. 
become a role model for our young student athletes, earn extra money, and support the patrons and communities of our IHSAA member schools. To learn more about becoming a licensed IHSAA official, log on to IHSAA.org slash officials today. I don't think of this as a high school weight room. It's more like a high school classroom. I'm learning how to manage my time here. I'm learning that it's important to have goals and that it takes persistence and commitment to reach them. And I'm learning that the best way to lead is by example. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. <laughs> Becoming a licensed sports official is a great way to make a positive difference in the community and support the over 160,000 Indiana student athletes that participate across 22 IHSAA sports. Sports officiating allows you to stay connected to the game, become a role model for our young student athletes, earn extra money, and support the patrons and communities of our IHSAA member schools. To learn more about becoming a licensed IHSAA official, log on to IHSAA.org slash officials today. And we're back, getting ready to kick off this second half here. Lady Senators are leading 19 to 12 over the Lady Hilltoppers. And Titan, what'd you think of that first half we had there? Well, in the first quarter, the Lady Senators, mainly Landry Johnson, came out very hot, um, hitting four threes, including a crazy buzzer beater. But in that second quarter for both teams, Lady Senators had three points. Lady Hilltoppers had uh, just four points. So very slow second quarter, and we'll see how both teams um, can pick it up to start off the third. As now Woods will get the ball and now gives it off to McKenzie Brown. Brown gives it back to Griffiths. Griffiths is going to dribble it right side. Gives it off to Johnson. Johnson puts up a three-pointer. It is no good off the front of the rim, but an offensive rebound there by Woods going in and getting the ball. And now Griffiths will set up the offense for the Lady Senators. Giving it off to Woods up top. Woods gives it off for Brown. Brown looking inside, throws it, and it's gonna be out of bounds. Another turnover to start off the quarter for the Lady Senators. And I definitely think that first play was drawn up by Coach Myers there, trying to get Landra Johnson the ball in her hands, see if she can continue her st stellar game. It's now Noble with it. Gives it off for Turner. Turner with a cross-court pass as Perez drives inside. Kicks it back out for Hill. Hill gives it off for Noble. Noble goes back to Hill. Hill tries to drive baseline and will step out of bounds as she was cut off by Ava Woods. Good defense right there by the Lady Senators. So now Griffiths will bring the ball up the floor just a minute into the third quarter. So Griffiths crosses half court, gives it off to Woods. Woods gives it off to Brown up top. Brown looking inside. Now he's going to dribble left side, tries to get around her defender. Woods with it, drives baseline, and a foul will be called on the floor. Foul's on 32, Leatherman. Now Griffiths will bring the, take the ball out of bounds underneath the basket. Griffiths gives a bounce pass off for Brown. The shot is up no good, but a foul called, and uh, Madison Brown will have two shots at the free throw line. So Brown at the free throw line, chance to extend the Lady Senator lead. First shot is up, and it is no good off the front of the rim. So Brown will have one more shot here, chance to get to the Lady Senators to 20 points on the night. And Brown's second shot is good, giving her her first point of the game. Now Noble gives it off for Turner, and now it's um, all the way up for Hill. Hill tries to throw it, and it's going to be tipped by multiple defenders as now the ball is swung into the corner for three. It is good by Turner. That was just a tough defensive possession for the Lay Senators. Got a few tips, but couldn't quite collect the ball and ended up giving up the three-pointer. So now Brown with it, gives off the bounce pass to Griffiths. Griffiths gonna dribble it back out, gives it off to Johnson. Johnson now goes back to Griffiths. Griffiths dribbles left side. 
Now he's gonna bring it back up top for Johnson. Now Brown with the ball on the right wing. Madison Brown looking inside, he's gonna dribble left side. And now a travel's gonna be called. Now will be the Hilltoppers ball, another turnover by the Lady Senators as Noble will bring the ball up the floor. Noble brings it up slowly, gives it off for Turner who puts up another three. This one's no good, an air ball. Will be out of bounds and it will be Lady Senators ball. Now Griffith will bring the ball up the court. Lady Center is only up by five now. Brown with the ball on the right side of the court. Brown gives a bounce pass off to McKenzie Brown. Jump shot is no good. And battle for the rebound. Ball's on the floor. It will be a jump ball. will go to the Lady Hilltoppers. And it's been a tough offensive go of it for the Lady Senators here tonight after that first quarter. Just struggling to find any kind of movement. Noble now gives it off for Turner. Turner is now going to get double teamed in the corner. And it's going to be a jump ball and it will go to the Lady Senators now. Now Sean Memorial arguing that they called a timeout there before the jump ball. Yeah, and Coach King still pleading his case, but doesn't look like he'll get any listeners. Now Brown with it, looking inside, gives it off to Johnson up top, swings it across for Griffiths. Griffiths now dribbles left side, gives it off for Woods. Woods kicks it out, Johnson puts up another three-pointer. This one is no good. Long rebound as Noble is able to come down with it. And now Noble splits two uh, Lady Senator defenders as Perez gets it, now gives it back to Noble. Into the corner for Turner, throws it down low to Leatherman. Now bounce pass off for Hill. Hill kicks it out. Will be recovered by Perez near half court. Now Noble gives it off for Turner. Turner tries to drive baseline, good defense. Ball's gonna be taken away. And a good defensive play there by Griffith throwing the ball off of Noble and getting the ball back to the Lady Senators. Now Griffiths with the ball, takes it across half court. Lady Sanders up by five. Griffiths dribbles it left side. Now goes back right, gets it off to Brown. Brown now throws it inside for Woods. Woods puts up with left hand and may have been blocked there. And now uh, the Hilltoppers will push it the other way as Turner's got it. Turner gives it off to Noble. Noble puts up a three pointer. It is no good. And a foul is going to be called. That was on 22, Madison Brown. And now a 30 second timeout will be called by the Lady Hilltoppers. So far, uh, Lady Sanders have only been able to put up one point almost halfway through this third quarter. Been a lot of defense this game, not a whole lot of offense besides that first quarter. Yeah, and you know, they. The Lay Senators have really just struggled to put that rhythm that they were catching in the first quarter back in to this game. I mean, you look at 16 points in the first quarter, followed by three in the second, and now only one here. They need to get some bare open looks and just maybe try to get to the paint some. I know the threes were what made the game for them, but maybe try to get some different looks, try to get some shots in the paint, see if Ava Woods can put together one of her classic games. Now Hilltoppers taking it out. Good inbound pass and a foul will be called on the shot. And Noble will go to the free throw line for two shots. And Madison Brown picks up her third foul right there. It's now Noble, first shot is up, it is good. That'll cut this game to within four as Noble looks to make it a one possession ball game. Shot is up and no good. Will be rebounded by Griffiths. Now Griffiths will push it the other way. Griffiths crosses half court. 
Crosses over, gives it off to Brown on the left side of the court. Madison Brown looking inside, picks up a dribble, throws it inside for McKenzie Brown, bounce pass off to Woods, puts up the shot, and one. That was a heck of a pass by McKenzie and an even bare finish by Ava Woods, getting the and one as she looks to add to her turn. Woods now with four points on the game and a chance to make it five right here. As two, Eva O'Toole comes in for 22, Madison Brown, who has three fouls. So now Woods at the free throw line, chance to make it a seven point game. Shot is up and it is no good. Rebounded by Leatherman, who gives it off to Noble. And now Noble will take it the other way, halfway through this third quarter. Perez now with it, gives it off into the corner for Hill. Hill kicks it out for Perez. Perez tries to go right side, crosses over. Now cross court pass for Turner. Turner with another cross court pass for Hill. Hill goes baseline, but a travel will be called before she can get around the defender. Now substitution will be 20 Latherman who comes into the game for 32 Leatherman. So now Griffiths with the ball. She'll bring it up the floor for the Lady Senators. Gives it off to O'Toole on the left side of the court. O'Toole dribbles left side, looking for somewhere to go. Now it's gonna be taken away there as Perez gets it, throws it ahead for Noble. Noble gets it on the block. One dribble, tries to put up a shot, but he's gonna have to kick it out for Turner. Turner gives it up to Latham up top. Latham now gets all the way down to the basket, loses the ball though. He's now gonna throw a cross court pass. There's a three pointer by Turner, and he's good. Making that just a three point game there. As now Johnson throws it up for O'Toole, will be knocked out of bounds. We'll stay with the Lady Senators. Nasty collision there. So now uh, 32 Leatherman comes in for the Hilltoppers, coming in for 12 Perez. So now 20 McKenzie Brown will take the ball out of bounds. Guarded by Turner on the inbounds pass. Gives, gives it off to Griffiths near half court. Griffiths gives it off to O'Toole. O'Toole dribbles left side and the travel's going to be called. Now 22, Madison Brown comes in for O'Toole. So now Sean Morial will take, take the ball now as Noble with it. Noble dribbles it across half court, gets the play call. Now Noble just dribbling it around, goes right side, gives it off for uh, Hill. Hill gives it back to Noble. Noble dribbles left side, puts up the runner. It is no good. May have been blocked there by a Lady Senator player as now Griffiths will take it the other way. Lady Senator's only up by three now. Gives it off to Johnson on the left side. Johnson looking inside. Now Johnson gives it off to Madison Brown up top. He uh, kicks it across to Griffiths. Griffiths now recenters the ball. Griffiths bounce pass it off to Woods. Woods gives it off to Brown. Brown looking inside, gives it off to Griffiths. Griffiths turns, tries to get it off to Madison Brown and does, and now Woods with it and gets another and one. Woods now has six points on the game and a chance to make it seven at the free throw line. And you look at the Lay Senators offense has stepped up here a little bit, and namely Ava Woods. She's getting in the paint and finding some buckets, I mean. This is what they need. They needed someone to step up like Alandra did in that first quarter, and Ava Woods answered the call. And Woods gets the free throw to go to complete the three-point play. Now Lady Senators up by six now. Two minutes to go in the third quarter. Now ball is thrown into the corner for Hill. Hill kicks it out for Noble. Noble gives it off to Latham up top. Latham dribbles right side, gives it into the corner. Now a travel is going to be called on 14 Hill. Now will be the Lady Senators ball. As Griffiths will bring the ball up the floor. Griffiths crosses half court, gives it off to Woods. Woods gives it off to Brown up top. Brown gives it off to Griffiths. Griffiths dribbles left side. And now he's going to give it off to Johnson up top. 
Johnson goes to Brown the corner who puts up a three-pointer. It is no good in and out. Ball is tipped and rebounded by Turner. And now Leatherman with it who gives it off to Noble. And now Noble crosses half court, guarded by Johnson. Noble looking right side, pass is almost taken away. As now Latherman drives inside and a blocking foul will be called on Tony McKenzie Brown. Yeah, and I think McKenzie was going diving there a bit for the foul call, but ends up getting a blocking foul instead, so. So now Latherman taking the ball out of bounds. He's gonna throw it into the corner for Noble. Noble's gonna dribble it around up top. Now Noble calls the play, gives it off for Turner. Turner goes to Latherman, throws it inside for Leatherman. The pass is tipped and it's gonna get all the way over to Hill for two points, her first two of the game. So now Griffiths brings the ball up the floor, a minute to go in the third, Lady Center's up by four. Woods with it up top. Now Brown with it. Kinsey Brown looking for somewhere to go, gives it off for um, Griffiths. Griffiths now brings it back up top. Tries to get inside, kicks it off for Brown for the mid-range jumper. That shot is also in and out. McKenzie Brown with two shots going in and out in a row. As now Turner pushes it up the other way quickly. 30 seconds to go in the quarter. A basket here for Sean Memorial could get them uh, right back where they want to be going into the fourth quarter, and they could have all the momentum. Now 20 seconds to go in the quarter. Noble still dribbling the ball around, gives up to Latham. Latham looking somewhere to go. Now gives it off for Turner way up top. 10 seconds to go down the quarter. Hill with it. Hill dribbles right side. And a travel will be called with 5.9 seconds to go. So Lady Senators might get one final shot here to end the quarter. And that could be a costly turnover by Shaw Memorial. We already saw what Landry did at the end of that first quarter with the last second shot. So definitely key turnover there. So now Brown to take it out, gives it off to Johnson with just five seconds. Johnson puts up a shot pretty early. It is no good off the front of the rim. Rebounded by uh, Turner who puts up the full court shot. It's no good. And that will conclude the third quarter where the Lady Senators are up 25 to 21. You're listening to West Washington Senator live stream and we will head to a quick commercial break. When you hit that water, you're gonna wanna look for weeds, sunken structures, down trees, stuff like that. You let that breeze tell you where you wanna go. Windy days like this, those bait fish will come swimming closer to shore. They'll bring the big boys with them, those bass and those pike. And they like cooler temperatures, so you ain't likely to have much luck. You're good at giving fishing advice. We're good at your insurance. Start with Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance and stop knocking on wood. We chose West Washington because of the academic excellence to help prepare me to be a doctor. We chose West Washington because of the quality of our athletics and because of the championships we've won. We chose West Washington because once you step into these walls, you're family. And we're back here to start the fourth quarter. We got a close one on our hands. Lady Senators leading 25-21 as we enter this fourth quarter. Will be Shaw Memorial ball coming out. So now Noble with the ball. Noble throws in the high post balls on the ground and it will be a jump ball and we'll go back to the Lady Senators. So now Griffiths will bring the ball to the floor after um, the turnover by the Hilltoppers. Griffiths gives it off to McKenzie Brown the high post. Brown's just gonna give it back out for Griffiths. Griffiths brings the ball in the middle of the floor, gives it off to Woods up top. Woods goes off to Brown. Brown looking inside. Now gonna dribble left side, try to get inside. Kicks it out for Griffiths. Griffiths now picks up a dribble, has nowhere to go with it, gives it off for Johnson. 
Johnson now dribbles right side, gets into the lane, puts up the shot, and will be fouled and go to the free throw line for two shots. And you can kind of see the Shaw Memorial been shaking their head as that was not a good foul to give. It's now Johnson at the free throw line. Chance to extend the Lady Senator lead. First shot is up and it is no good. You know the problem there? I think she knows the free throws are only worth one point. They're not three pointers. So, I mean, who needs them? She can't get that one to go either. And we'll see if the Lady Senators need those free throws later on in this game. And now Lady Senators put on some pressure here. Might try to force a few turnovers and get some easy baskets as Noble gets it. Noble throws it over uh, for Turner. Now gives it off to Hill. Hill kicks it back out for Turner. Now Noble's got it up top one minute in to his fourth quarter. It's now Noble guarded by Johnson. Noble looking for somewhere to go, gives it off. And now the ball's into the corner for Hill. Hill now dribbling it around. And now Turner with it, and now a timeout will be called by Shaw Memorial as there looked to be some confusion there um, with what play they're running. And it will be a full timeout called. You're listening to West Washington Center live stream. We'll head to another commercial break. Wanna know what I like best about playing basketball for my high school? I like it because it's a place where my friends get to see me play. I like it because I'm playing for someone besides myself. I'm playing for everybody in my school and every person in my community. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. Hi, I'm Matt Wolford, president of the IHSAA Foundation, and we need your help. We need your help so the youth of our community can develop advanced leadership skills. We need your help giving high school administrators and coaches the instruction and insight they need to be better role models and teachers. To learn more or to make a tax-deductible contribution, go to IHSAAFoundation.org. You'll not only be contributing to the foundation of the IHSAA, you'll be contributing to the foundation of our community. And we're back. 646 left in this game. Lady Senators still lead 25-21. And in case you missed it earlier tonight, we saw Trinity Lutheran beat Crothersville score 82-9. So Trinity Lutheran will move on to the championship game and play the winner of this game, which is still definitely undecided with the Lady Senators on top by four with uh, just under seven minutes to go as that ball was almost taken away by the Lady Senators as Noble now with it and crosses half court. Noble gives it off to Latherham. Latherham looking inside, now gives it back to Noble up top. Noble will now set up some kind of offense. Griffiths comes out and guards her. Now Latherham gives it in the corner. Hill with it, now Latherman throws in the high post for Leatherman. Leatherman gives a bounce pass off for Hill, he tries to go baseline, good defense there by Woods for the Lady Sanders. That pass is tipped, and a foul is now gonna be called on 32 Leatherman. That's just Leatherman's second foul. And now we uh, see Shaw Memorial put on a little bit of pressure here in a 2-2-1 press. Griffiths throws it off to Johnson. Johnson goes back to Griffiths. Griffiths now just going to throw it back to Johnson. He now throws it on the sideline for Woods. Woods tries to throw it inside. It's going to be taken away by Leatherman. And now a jump ball will be called. We'll stay with the Hilltoppers. So now uh, Latherman will take the ball out of bounds. Gives it off to Noble. Noble now crosses half court with it, guarded by Johnson. Noble now is going to kick it across. Now that pass might be taken away. It will be out of bounds. We'll stay with the Lady Hilltoppers. Griffiths was almost able to come up with the ball right there, but just ended up knocking it out of bounds. Now allowed them to take it out. Just gives it in for, for Hill. Hill gives it off to Noble. Now Noble looking right side, and it's going to be taken away by Johnson, who just throws it right back away 
almost had a chance at a steal and a fast break as now Leatherman puts up the jump shot and gets it to go. It's now just a two point game here, the closest this game has been in a while. And now yeah. Johnson's going to get called for a traveling call, and the Sean Memorial has a chance to take the lead here with a three or tie it with a two. And after that 16 day first quarter, Lay Senators have been outscored 9 to 15. And they definitely need to look to get something going. Was just a 30 second timeout called there by Coach Myers for the Lady Senators as they have seen their lead dwindle here in this fourth quarter. Yeah, and you got to think he's preaching stop the turnovers. I mean, that's been what's cut this game back as close as it is. I mean, got to got to be able to hold on to the ball because they've been able to make their shots for the most part when they've had opportunities. Just got to keep the ball in their possession and try to score. So now we'll be Lady Hilltoppers ball. As Lavin will take it out. Lavin is going to give it off for Hill. Hill thought about a shot, now gives it back out to Lavin. Lavin now is going to hand it off for Noble. Noble guarded by Johnson. Noble goes right side for Lavin. Lavin doesn't really know where to go here, dribbles left side. The ball's on the ground, it will be recovered by um, Hilltoppers. A good pass there down with the Noble, kicks it out for Hill, and it's going to be an air ball as Brown with the rebound. Now Brown will slow it down and give it off to Griffiths. Under five minutes to go in the game. So Griffiths with it, guarded by Noble. Griffiths is going to go right side, give a screen. He's now going to look inside, now gives it off to Brown up top, gives it off. Madison Brown puts up a three pointer, it is no good. Battle for the rebound, and the Brown went flying for it. And now a bad pass there by the Lady Hilltoppers as Lady Sanders get the steal. Griffiths now with it, gives it off to Brown, now gets it back. And now Griffiths will bring it out and set up the offense as she gives it off for Woods. Woods now goes off to Brown, something they've done many times before. And now Griffiths gets the ball at the three-point line, looking inside for Woods. Now he's going to dribble back around, gives it off to Madison Brown. Now McKenzie Brown with it in the corner. Brown now gives it up to Johnson up top, here's a three-pointer. It is banked in, and Johnson gets her first three of the half. She's now got 15 all on three-pointers. Yeah, and that's something the Lay Senators are hoping she starts to heat up to finish this game just like she heated up to start it off. The first quarter was really good for her. She hit four threes, and now uh, Latham with the ball, kicks it across for Turner, throws it inside, it's going to be out of bounds and it will be Lady Senator's ball. Now Griffiths with the ball, three and a half minutes to go in the game, Lady Senator's up by five. Griffiths crosses, half court, gives it off to Woods, the pass is almost taken away, now gives it off to Johnson. Johnson now dribbles it back out, gives it off to McKenzie Brown. Brown gives it off for Griffiths. Now Griffiths will set up the offense again. Gives it off to Madison Brown on the right side. Brown gives it off to Johnson. Now it's swung across for Griffiths. Looks like the Lady Sanders might be trying to get uh, Woods involved on the post. As she's just running from post to post trying to get the ball on Leatherman. As now Griffiths gives it off for Brown. He drives inside, gets all the way into the line, puts up the shot, and gets it to go. Madison Brown gets a big two to go, giving the Lady Sanders a seven-point lead as they go on a quick 5-0 run. Now Hill's got it, drives inside, kicks it out, passes Pippen, it's going to be taken away by Shelby Griffiths. Griffiths dribbles inside, puts up the left, will, will be fouled, and goes on for two shots. It's so now a chance to make it a nine-point game, which will be um, up there with the largest lead of the game. Yeah, and the Lay Senators, this is when you got to turn the offense back on, is in the final three minutes, and they've... They've taken that challenge. First free throw is no good. Griffiths with one more shot chance now to make it an eight point game. Shot is up and it is good. He's got three points on the game. Noble now with it. 
Kicks it across, almost taken away again by Griffiths as Hills got it, kicks it out to Latham. It's going to be saved, but they will say it will be over and back call as now the Lady Hilltop is kind of starting to fall apart a little bit right here. Yeah, and I mean, this Lady Senators team is putting the pressure on them. They're making their shots and they're putting some defensive uh, moves on them. They're looking for steals that you just... Now Johnson with the ball, who gives it off to Brown. Now Mackenzie Brown with it. Griffiths with it, looking inside for Woods. Now it's going back out. Madison Brown with it. Hands it off to Griffiths. Now Johnson with it. Johnson guard heavily. He's going to uh, drive baseline. Good pass inside for Woods, and she gets away up to go. Woods now with nine points on the game. Up to a 10-point lead, the largest lead of the game as now uh, we have Turner with it who gives it back out to Latham. Two minutes to go in the game. Hill puts up the mid-range jumper. It is no good. Rebounded by McKenzie Brown. Who now starts to push it the other way. He gives it off to Griffiths. Griffiths now gives it off to Johnson. Johnson guarded by Latham. Johnson goes left, gets double team, gives it off to Griffiths. Griffiths now is just gonna bring it all the way back out. Griffiths gives it off to McKenzie Brown. Now the uh, Sean Moyle coach is telling to get up and um, play some aggressive defense here. They're just letting the Lady Sanders run out to time. Now Madison Brown kind of in a tough spot. It will be a jump ball called. We'll stay with the Lady Senators though, under a minute and a half to go, and the Lady Senators up by 10. Yeah, and I mean, Sean Memorial will have to get aggressive if they want to cut this lead. And now a full timeout will be called by the Lady Hilltoppers. This is West Washington Senator live stream. We'll go to a quick commercial break. After two years of study and research, the Washington County Community Foundation launched its first proactive initiative, Youth First, in 2007. Their goal was to create a positive environment within the county where youth are valued, their needs come first, and investments are made in their well-being. In 2011, Youth First merged with the YMCA to best serve youth through their common commitments to youth development, healthy living, and social responsibility. This merger allowed for further utilization of Youth First missions and the possibility to grow development assets in our community more initially. And we're back minute 26 left to go in this game it's been a good one lady senators leading 33 to 23 over the shaw memorial hilltoppers so we'll be the lady senators ball after that jump ball that just occurred madison brown on the inbound here brown gets it into mckenzie brown who now gets all the way to the basket tries to give it off to Woods and it will be out of bounds. We'll stay with the Lady Senators. So now Griffiths will take the ball out of bounds underneath the basket. Sean Memorial is going to have to start forcing some turnovers and get the ball back. Something they've done pretty well this game as now Johnson's got it. Johnson now looking for somewhere to go and a foul is going to be called on three. Uh, Turner, her first. Now Johnson will go to the free throw line. Chance to extend the Lady Senator lead. Johnson's first shot is up and it is good. Her first point that wasn't a three-pointer of the game. She's now got 16. Yeah, and she's looking to solidify her case as the MVP of the game here. Looking to put away Shaw Memorial. And she makes the other one. That now gives um, the Lady Senators a 12-point lead, the largest lead of the game. As now Noble brings the ball to the floor. Bounce pass for Leatherman, who puts up, puts up a shot. It will be no good out of bounds, and it will go to the Lady Senators. So now Brown will take it out, giving it off to Johnson, and Johnson will be fouled by Leatherman. Johnson will head right back to the line, looking to add on to her total for the night.
One thing about the Shaw Memorial team, if they're not able to complete the comeback this game, uh, they only have one senior on the team, uh, and that's uh, Leatherman, as Elandra Johnson gets the free throw to go, giving her 18 on the game. So Shaw Memorial will probably be a pretty tough team in this sectional next year, returning everybody except for Leatherman, which will definitely be a big loss, six foot center, but I definitely think Shaw Memorial will be tough next year and be able to compete for this sectional. Yeah, that's definitely something as a team you like to see that youth that you can build on looking at next year. So now Hill's got the ball. We're under a minute to go. Noble is going to have that pass taken away. And there's a bounce pass to Johnson. She puts up the layup. It's no good. And now Turner will get it. And Turner will push it the other way. And a foul's going to be called on 12 Griffiths with 44 seconds to go. Only four team fouls, so will be the Hilltoppers ball out of bounds. And that's also been key for these lay senators tonight. Haven't gotten in, in, in any foul trouble, which for a lot of the season has been the case. So, so now Latham brings it inside, puts up a shot. It is no good. Now Latham kicks it back out. Turner puts up a three-pointer. It's no good. And Brown gets the rebound. 30 seconds to go in the game. And now Griffith with the ball, and Johnson's got it, and I don't think the Hilltoppers are going to foul. You can see these Senator fans starting to get excited as they realize this game's coming to a close. Now Brown with it, gives it off to Johnson, who will just hold it, and that will end the uh, Lady Hilltopper season. And the Lady Senators will move on to the sectional championship to take on the Trinity Lutheran Cougars tomorrow night. Yep, and that was an interesting game to watch. Definitely key plays by Landra Johnson, leading all scores with 17. And um, looking at all the points in this game, um, Shelby Griffiths for the Lady Senators had three points. Ava Woods had nine points. Madison Brown had three points. Landry Johnson had 19 points. Nope. And Mackenzie Brown had three points. Um, for Shaw Memorial, um, Allison Noble had six points. Autumn Latherman had two points. Um, Lena Leatherman had two points. Harley Hill had two points. And Ava Turner had 11 points, which was the most for the Lady Hilltoppers. So that will conclude tonight's uh, sectional matchup. Um, I'm Titan Williams. And I'm Gabriel Porter. I'd like to thank you for joining us and have a great night.